Welcome to Adam. I cannot say it is by choice. For nurturing a boy child. The effect of alcohol, drugs. The modern man and status. Is more informed when it comes to depression. It really happens to so many young girls. Yeah. Is courtship the same as dating? This is the man I want. The ones that you use matters, not the, the education. <laughs> Hello viewers, welcome to Adam. This is a show that talks about men and I am your host, Leona Asiko Obura. In today's show, we talk about domestic violence. There are many theories that attempt to explain why some men are violent towards their partners. This include lack of spirituality, poor communication, provocation by women, economic hardships, and stress. Is there any reason good enough for a man to be violent towards his partner? We went to the streets and this is what people had to say. My name is Helen. I'm from here in Nairobi. And I think uh, about violence, people should sit down, talk, come up with a solution and see if they are going to, to, to fix their problems instead of beating each other. My name is Joel and my take on domestic violence, especially on men battering women, I say it's just wrong because men are supposed to actually protect these women, not cause them harm or in any way hurt them. I'm Nathaniel uh, and my take on domestic violence is it's not fair, we are all equal, so women should be treated the same way as men are treated. My name is uh, Joseph Simpito, yeah, actually what I would say for, for the way we would like to treat our wives in our homes. Actually, we have to treat them equal to us. The way we feel we can be treated as well. We don't have to be harsh on them. If we be harsh on them, then we are not good leaders. For us to be good leaders, we have to treat our fellow human beings actually to the way we want to treat ourselves. My name is Ibrahim. I'm a researcher. Uh, my take on, on uh, domestic violence, as I personally attribute it to cultural aspect. So it happens in African settings. Because uh, we believe our wives should be our, our, our workers, should be in the kitchen, doing all those, all those fun things. Welcome back. In studio with us is Reverend Mugambi. Reverend Mugambi is a counselor as well. Welcome, Reverend. Thank you so much, Asiko. You heard what people had to say. Yes. The women are very bitter about mm -hmm. this matter concerning domestic violence. Yes. So I'd like to start by asking you, what causes domestic violence? Um, well, well, there are a number of things that uh, would cause domestic violence. And one, we look at our cultural issues, the cultural background from where one has grown. There are tribes, there are cultures that would have no problem at all in women battering. And some of them have taken like, I'm okay when my, my husband beats me up. When he batters me, I have, I have no issues. Now, women battering is about, you know, maybe trying to deny her some rights. It can be a, a form of violence where I can decide to keep quiet. I go mom for days, for years, for months without talking to you. The others would uh, decide not to even eat food from his wife. Men, they are there. And he feels that I am going to fight her the Cold War. I will not use the physical. While again, the others would use bad language as, as a form of violence. And wh where is it, uh, I mean, why is it that um, men, some men do that? Sometimes it's because they have other issues like social issues. One has been fought in the place of work. One has been maybe denied some rights in his work or he also is distressed by certain issues and then he finds an easier play 
is the wife. If I find she's weaker, I can pour my, all my, my aggression, all my, my stress on her. And this, that's when you find a man trying to use all form of, um, uh, of uh, communication mm. to say that I all is not well with me. So in most cases, when we see violence, we, mean we should not jump into saying this man is very brutal. We really need to look at the causes of that violence. But You're by the time, Reverend, a man actually puts his hand on a woman yes. to beat her up, yes. even if he's having problems at mm -hmm. his place of work, isn't it better to come home confide in your woman, tell her I'm going through this, 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 or if it's something that you're embarrassed to talk to your woman about, yeah. how about, of course, you have close friends. Mm -hmm. Why should you put up, bottle all up aggression and then you put it on your woman no, by, like, now you're releasing it by throbbing her and throbbing her and hitting her and yes. all that. Why? W well, as I've just said, it's about the person's backing crowd. They are those who have grown in violent homes where they have seen their mothers being beaten up mm. and their grandmothers. And like in, in our village, I, I remember a family where even a grandmother could be fought by that old mze. Mm. And he could not have a problem in fighting this man. I mean, fighting this woman. There are others like um, I would find a man fighting his own wife. She could, uh, you know, start fighting or rather um, um, shouting around for help, mm. crying for help. And most of the times, even our own parents could go to help in that family. Why? Because it is something that has been carried on, something that has been carried over years, and she finds, like, it's normal, it's okay with us. Mentorship, remember when we talked about the mentorship of a boy child. Like, who said, who took care of this man before he got married? Was he told that uh, this one is not somebody that you, you should be fighting, she is your helper, she is your, your legal um, complementer, mm that all the time, she, you know, you look at us equal to you. She is the other part of you. So sometimes you look at the culture and you say, it is the society, it is the mentors, it is the, 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 the family itself, the family um, members who have failed to act their role. Therefore, in most cases, we may not really look at this man and say, mm, he is a bad man, before we look at who mentored him mm. or even the... The, 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 the kind of background he came. Yes, came. yes, the and materials the family, that he has been yeah. built with so that you can now say that we are going to, uh, of course, demonize, demonize him. Demonize him yeah. as a and woman believe, batter. Yeah, and I believe even for such men who batter women, they can still be helped, you know? We can see him be helped. Okay. Yeah, that if one is, um, I mean, one sits down with that man and tell him, sir, you know, this is not right, and it is not good for you to do this. This this woman is, you know, the mother to your children. She is the provider of this. She is your helper, and she can also be dangerous, you know. If a woman would want to kill this man, you know? Yeah, she he, can. She can kill She's the him. one who cooks yeah, she your cooks meals. For him, yeah. So if she decides one day that this man, I'm going to get rid of him, she can do it. Mm. Therefore, that, that's why we, we would say that as much as even we would maybe um, blame the parents, blame the society. Also, we would tell men that it is, it is not right for you to keep on fighting your woman your woman there are better ways to solve matters yes. you can sit and discuss yes see a counselor as well yes yes whatever the reason it, it, there, there should be a no to fighting apart from background and cultural issues as mm -hmm. you have said why do these women who are battered stay in these relationships 
Well, Asiko, look at a woman who has been married and she has children. Mm -hmm. Look at also the society where we find people, you, you know, blame blames on women. That if this woman walks out of the marriage because she's been battered, mm. everyone in the village will keep on bickering about her. She, they are always against them. Most of the of the people around the woman would feel that she was the the, the cause the of problem. the problem. Mm. Yes. So sometimes they, they tend to remain in the marriage because. After law, when I go out there, nobody would want to, to, to sit with me. Nobody would want to, you know, to have a one-on-one -on -one with me. They are all looking at me like a graveyard. You know, they will go far from me. Even other women would not want to sit down with me. They will look at me as a failure. Secondary, mm -hmm. look at the church where you've been married in a church. And this man starts fighting you. Mm -hmm. And you feel like you want to walk out. There are those, maybe the pastors, the leaders of the church that will tell you, as he could remain in it, you know, mm. just remain in it. You pray, pray for patience, you know, because <laughs> you need to be patient. This man is going to change. He's going to change maybe within some little <laughs> while. And, you know, he will change, but he's fighting me. He will mo you change, but I'm losing my eyes. Mm. He, he will change, but he's maiming me. And I'm, I'm, I'm not the way I used to be. I have pains all over the body. And then instead of the church looking at what issues that are going on in your family, what you are wrestling with in this family, that this man is fighting you and he doesn't listen to you, instead of them saying, that let's sit down with him, then they also forsake you. They tell you, sister, you know God is going to provide. But God will not provide when I'm being beaten up. Mm. You know, there shouldn't be another way of telling me, sir, I mean, madam, I, I think uh, let's come to your home one day and sit down. And talk about the talk matters about the that matter. are causing this brutality. Yes. Th th then again, oh, oh, if a pastor comes or a church leader comes, I should hear something like this. You know, if the man is not ready to sit down with them and talk, because he may walk out on them, he may leave them there. But on that note, mm -hmm. when pastors tell women stay in this marriage and you also sideline her if she really wants to leave that marriage, I know marriage is for better or for worse. Yes. It's something difficult. Mm -hmm. Even friends fight. How about lovers who are living together for very many years? But I don't think God wanted us to be in something abusive. Yes, a man shall leave his home, True. join his woman, True. and two shall become one. Very but well. I do not think God wanted to see a man being a victim of violence or a woman being a victim of violence. That is very true. And uh, Asiko, if we, if we can uh, try to trace the genesis of um, some animosity, some mm. lift, some differences between a man and a woman, we can go back to the, to the Garden of Eden. Okay. Look at um, when Eve ate a fruit, that fruit, forbidden fruit, mm. and she gave it to the husband and he also ate. What did we hear when God came? The man laid blame on the woman. You remember? Mm. Yes, he yes. He said, it is the woman <coughs> who brought to me. So it's like he's saying God did a mistake by bringing me this person. Mm. So in actual sense, you can see there, there was some lift here. If God was not allowed, maybe these people could afford. You, could, you know, you are the one who has caused all this. You see? So what I can see is that um, as much as we, we see what is happening, mm. it is... The, 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 the man himself, the man and the woman, who should work out their way of living. That, you know, in the first place, man marries this woman out of love. If this was not a forced marriage, by the way, I don't advocate that, that you, I mean, a woman follows a man because she was impregnated. Mm -hmm. If there was no love, you would rather take care of the baby. Yeah other than, you know, following this man. Mm. Otherwise, this man is going to dump you at home and you, you'll be, I mean, you, you have other women mm. or a woman that he desires. He actually he likes, loves. He loves. Yeah. You see, so 
other than the society, the parents forcing their children into marriages because they have been impregnated, you would rather sit down and ask them, do you desire to marry this lady? And then she says, the man says, yes, I, I want to marry her. Like we said previously, mm -hmm. that uh, for a marriage to work, for you to, f to think and to feel proud that this man is going to marry me. Mm. <laughs> Seriously, Asiko, this man must declare with his own mouth that I'm marrying this girl. He must state his interests. He has to do that. So, so, so sometimes it's about f the force that was there. My family forced me into it. Mm. I didn't want it. They are richer than us. We fear they would take us to the court of law. So th this girl will be married out of fear that, you know, the, the, the family of the boy will be taken to court mm. and they don't have enough, enough money, money to fight to them in fight court. Yeah. So, so, so sometimes we, we, we find all these complexities and we blame them again on families because families also differ. So where you find uh, violence, even before jumping into conclusions that it is the man who was right or wrong. Believe you me, if you go deep into it, you might find that even uh, the woman might have been the, the, the cause of the fight. She must have provoked him in yes, one way or another. Because if you become provocative, like, you know, all the time you, are, you see nothing good in me. Mm. However much the, this man will talk softly and behave good, then it is, it is um, turned, or the, 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 these ones are used to turn against the man. You use the same ones as a weapon mm. against me. So after maybe sometimes they irritate the man. And finally you may find not only fights, but even killing each other. Where this man is, you know, he is fed up with everybody. When the beating becomes yeah, too much. Yes, even the sins of this woman, he feels that I don't want even the sins of this woman. Can, I can get rid of all of you. I get rid of them, the, the woman, I get rid of the children, mm. and I walk out. And there are so many cases of like that, whereby you just hear a man yeah. killed his wife mm -hmm. and kids. Yes. Yeah. And you see, sometimes we blame it on, on man. That even we don't remember that he can also get sick, the mental mm, illness. Yeah. W where this man has, uh, over time, he's, he's been lessening over a certain problem. Nobody is out to, uh, to help him. The wife is not even concerned. Mm. Though this man feels like he's a loner in his own house. When he comes home, nobody asks him, uh, I mean, is it okay? I mean, is all okay? Are, are you doing well in your place of work? Nobody is asking. So this man is not asked by colleagues. He comes home. The wife is not talking to him. She has also gone mad. So he's carrying so much pain, a lot too of many burdens. Yeah, yeah. He, he's carrying a baggage within himself, within and without. Mm. Because out there he's being blamed. Maybe he's not doing very well in the place of work. And he comes home. He is not again doing well with his wife. Mm. They have not good relationships. So when all that happens, believe you me, as a human being, he will look for the, 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 the quickest and the easiest way of getting rid of his disappointment. Mm. So, so you, you get anything, he can do anything to his children or even to his wife, whoever is around him. Out of anger? Yes, and he can do that. And what are the consequences of a woman staying in an abusive relationship? Well, as he called, it is very, very unfortunate if a woman would decide to stay in it because of the children. And let mm. me say this. She has children who, who are in school, who are not in school. The nursing babies. She has toddlers there, children who, are, who have not even gone to school. And she knows how bad the society is. Mm. She knows that even when she goes back to her home, nobody will receive her. Her parents will not receive her positively. Mm. Now, this lady may decide to remain in the marriage. Too unfortunate. Because one consequence is that this lady is going to be ignored totally. 
In the marriage? In the marriage. Okay. Like, this man may decide that he'll never come or, or step in that house. Mm. Or he can only come when he's having his dinner, he goes yeah, out he again, technically. takes a sleep, yes. wakes up in the morning, goes mm -hmm. to work. Also, the separation of, of, of bedrooms. Mm. He, he can decide that, that I'll be taking, I'll be sleeping in my own bedroom because this is not my wife. Yeah. So, this man is there. The other, the other consequence is that uh, if she decides to walk out of the marriage, she will be hated mm. by the church, by the society. And that's why we are, as equal, I'm, I'm advising that even the churches should review their constitution. View the, how they advise these women. Yes, because these are, as equal, we are losing women as much as we are losing men over such circumstances. Because nobody wants her in the fellowship. She is seen as a failure. Mm. So that's another thing. She will be viewed as a failure. She has already failed in her family. She's seen as a woman who cannot keep her home together. Yes. So she, she, people would not want to see her talk to girls, the young girls, mm. because she, she will pollute them. All right? She, she will distort their, their way of thinking and whatever it is, their culture. Now, this, this Rindu, again, when she decides to walk out, where is she going to get money to pay for the school fees to keep herself out there? Because most of them are dying. They are languishing in poverty in those homes, in those marriages, which are not working. How about, how about um, um, uh, issues like um, conjugal rights? She's burning in lust. Nobody is there to service her. And if she decides to walk out of the family, out of the marriage, everybody, will, you know, it's like we are putting cameras, mm. surveillance cameras, <laughs> that, you know, wherever she's going, we can see her. <laughs> if she talks to a man, we, we, she can, you know, everybody will see her. Yes. And th therefore, if she decides to walk out of it, that one, she needs to know that people will always... But you know Look what? Somebody once said, whether you do something or not, people will always have something to say. Definitely. So let well. people talk about this woman, but let her save herself. Because by her staying in such a marriage, mm -hmm. she's showing her sons and daughters that it's okay for a woman to be beaten. Mm -hmm. Her daughters will grow up knowing, as a woman, it's okay for my husband yeah. to beat me up in when we have to sort out issues. Yeah. The sons will grow up going, as a man, I should hit my wife anytime, anyhow. Mm -hmm. So she should save herself. Yeah, Even if people advice. will talk, mm -hmm. she should. Because trust me, they are still talking about how the husband is beating her up. Actually, that, that's, that's the advice, I see, one, that, that's important of you. Um, the advice should be that in case one realizes, whether a man or a woman, that m this marriage is not working. Mm. I'm trying by all means to make it work. And this person is fighting me all the time. The best this person should do is to live her own life mm. so that she can save herself. And after all, you, you just say, God is for us all. That's God true. will not condemn me you, because we may lay blames on those, the divorcees. And he, we, we report them that they are, they are husband stealers and snatchers and whatever we call them. That when they go there, they will be very dangerous to our husbands who are unable to take care of their own husbands. Irrelevant. As for this woman who is, who is in an abusive marriage, she should decide whether the church attests to it or mm -hmm. the society, mm -hmm. or whoever it is, yeah. she should walk out of it as equal. Because if it is not done so, then the obvious may happen. We may have to bury her. She wants them to safeguard the children. She wants them as children to, to be taken care of, to be educated. To, to save her face. Yes. But what have we seen? She will leave her children as orphans. Because this man might not even take care of those children. So they may end up in the street. And you see, you know, those are children of so and so. This man has no, no obligation. Mm. No commitments at all. 
and the children are there walking in the streets. They are the children of so and so. He has no problem in them, in seeing them in the streets. Therefore, it is important as equal for every woman to know her state. But what he are saying is, she should fight for her marriage to work. Okay. It's not a walkover. You know, you just say, hey, after all, you know, it's, it's about walking out. No, it's not a walking in and walking out. How should she do that when she is being battered? No, you, you see, she should use all the mechanisms. Mm -hmm. One, mm -hmm. try to talk to the friends of the husband. And in case she was married through the church or through the Anthony General Chambers, she can talk to the best couple. Mm. Let them start from there, even before going to counselors. Then if the, can the, the, the best couple are unable to solve the problem, she can go to the pastor if they, they, are, they, they, they go to church. If the pastor, the cadre, the, 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 the counselors are unable, mm -hmm. then, you know, again, she should bring the family so that they also understand what is happening. On that note, yes. very many people say that you should not involve families when it comes to problems between a spouse. Because the man's family is going to hit mm -hmm. the woman mm -hmm. and vice versa. Mm -hmm. So is it really wise for them to involve their families? You know, there are issues that you should not involve the family. Mm -hmm. Like maybe the issues of bed. <laughs> yes, they call you all right. how, how do you go about telling <laughs> telling your mother-in-law my this you, your son denies me you know call you all right in bed <laughs> you see these are stupid things according to them you see yes they are childish you know they are misplaced they are personal yeah they are so personal. personal so but when it comes to an issue like i am walking out of this marriage okay Seriously, if you don't involve the family, who understands why you walked out? So you advise that these women should involve families when it has reached the point where yes. they really want to give up? Yes, because again, when they walk out, in one or the other, so long as the families, the two families understand the reason as to why this woman had to walk out, as you can believe you me, they also be in support of the children. Mm, Remember true. we talked about the mentorship. Mm. How will those children be mentored by either or both, both families? Mm. Because if the father, the, the, the parents-in-law understood why the daughter-in-law had to walk out of this marriage, because several times she had involved in them, they will not take you like the cause of that breakup of this marriage. But in case you just walk, and you walk with your children, they will say she walked out because she felt she is strong enough, she has more money to take care of herself. So that even when you shout and you start yelling around mm. that I have nobody to help me, nobody will come to your aid. But when you walk out with them understanding that you walked out because of one or two, two things, they, they will not have a problem. Okay. They will help you. They often say that if he hits you once, he can do it again. Is there a chance of a man hitting a woman once, apologizing, and never laying his hands on her? Well, they say it, but um, it may be true or not. Okay. For one, it may be true. It may be so. But mm -hmm. for, a diff for another one, it might not. Look at a man who has been in an abusive family where... He takes it as, as a real truth. Mm. I know a, um, um, a culture, some cultures here in Kenya, some tribes here in Kenya. I know of one that would take, if the wife is not beaten mm. by the husband, mm. she feels like he hates her. Ah. This woman feels that if my man loves me, he has to fight me. Okay. And one of those cultures was my culture before okay back yes. in the day back in those days okay back in those days women were to be battered whether you do right or, or you wrong. Do wrong at some point there will come a time that i'll fight this woman and she'll like it 
even when going around with <laughs> swollen, swollen cheeks. She really? say, yeah, with the blisters. You know, she would say, it is my husband. You know, uh, it's my husband who did this. Okay, Reverend. There are also some others. Hold on that <laughs> thought. That is a very interesting statement Reverend has made. Let's take a short commercial break. We'll be right back. Take your career to the skies with Nairobi Aviation College. 2014 Intech is in progress for certificate and diploma courses in aeronautical engineering, airport operations, general aviation, piloting, electrical and electronics engineering, computer science and IT, hotel and catering, travel and tourism, journalism and mass communication, business management, supplies management, community development, clearing and forwarding, secretarial, CPA and ATC programs. Visit our campuses in Meru, Nairobi, Kisumu, Nakuru, Mombasa, Eldorate and Kitale. Our courses are IATA approved. Nairobi Aviation College profession is power the boy the boiling point mix the boiling point mix active sounds DJ Attention, ladies and gentlemen, this DJ is I'll be awesome. crossing over, crossing over. At the Kenya Institute of Media and Technology, we are the gurus in the training of certificate and diploma in journalism, computer studies, business administration, hospitality management, travel and tourism management, clearing and forwarding, social work and community development and electrical and electronics. Visit us at our head office at Ntihani House and Taveta Court, Nairobi. Kenya Institute of Media and Technology. Technology is power. Welcome back. For those who are just joining us, we are talking about domestic violence today. For any questions, comments, and suggestions, you can hit us up on our Facebook page, which is Aviation TV Kenya. Our Twitter handle is at Aviation TV Kenya. My Facebook page is Leona Asiko Obura. My Twitter handle is at Leona Asiko Obura. So before we took the break, Reverend, mm -hmm. you were telling me about your community that. Yes. back in the day was okay with women battling uh-huh yeah I, I was saying that um, for such you find that uh, even if a daughter is married to another place and she's battered by her man mm -hmm. it was normal the, i mean she could not run back home over fights she was beaten and beaten up and you know it was okay so for such uh, if, like previously, where you asked, um, what are the pros? What are the pros of this person uh, tending to remain in it? Most of them, you you find them um, dying, even getting. I mean, they, they die, and some even in those olden days could be fought. Of course, not in that magnitude. Mm -hmm. Where a man would box this woman, they were using whips like kings. And you know these whips they were used on these women when, when children were watching. Okay. So look at that child again with some boy or a lady who mm -hmm. has been married. So she will find like if a married to a tribe where they don't fight women, then 
because it is a button that has been passed on to me, she would feel like, ah, I think this man does not love me now mm. because he's not beating me up. So we, we, we look at it again and say it is cultural. Sometimes it is cultural. Now, the other thing that, uh, or rather the, the disadvantage, the big disadvantage is this. Over time of repeated battling, you find that uh, that family, especially in this season, in this, in this period of time, in the 21st century, people look at that family as a bad family. Mm. They, they, they look at you, they look at the husband, they look at the wife, and they don't understand what you ask each other. So they will not like you. Yeah. Even you lose credibility out there. Because when, when you hear, you know, those yellings, and they are yell, yellings not because the acts are coming, but because somebody is battering a woman, his woman at this time, at this age, <laughs> then you are, you are viewed as, you know, uncultured, uncivilized. You, you are viewed as a bad man in the society. An it's outcast. A bad woman. Yeah. Yeah, it's an outcast. Uh, so th that is, again, very, very important for every man to know that I will not take you as man enough, you know, as so civilized and as a big boss in a big office, but I will look at you as a failure because okay. you should not be viewed as um, you know, a successful person because of fighting your wife. You'll be viewed as successful because of how much you're able to take care of this lady. And the family as well. And this family. How are these children coming to you? How, how do you treat them? How do you treat them with, with, with the, the mother? Mm. Because there are those men who treat women the same way with children. Okay. They are like Israelites. That's an interesting point. Yes, they are like Israelites. <laughs> when the Israelites were counting people, mm -hmm. they could not count women, neither could they count men. I mean, uh, children. Really? So women, yeah, women and men were the same. Look at feeding 5,000 men, feeding mm. 4,000 men. Where were the women? And the Bible accounts that there were many women many and women, children. Yes. So there are some cultures also here in Kenya who have emulated the same. Mm. They carry it over many years that when women are in a gathering, they are not seen as, you know, as adults. Let me use the word adult. Mm. They are seen, they are viewed as children. And that's why women and children, nobody is bothering about them. They're so just clustered at the yes, side. Yes, yeah. so even when it comes to other privileges, women would would be last. Look at even some governments, some governments where they, they become so dictatorial. Sometimes they put laws that are so hard on women. You see? Yeah. Like you are pregnant and you are supposed to work all the months until you go to, to, I to mean, labor, to yeah. labor. They cannot see the mass that you are carrying on your belly. Two, three kilos, even some four kilos. <laughs> and this woman is walking or driving every morning to work. Mm. She has to sit for many hours. Nobody is looking at this. Some have to still run is errands. Is it not a form of violence by government okay. and other institutions? This isn't just supposed to perform like any other. Mm. She's carrying, you know, a, bus, a, a big mass here. And she's, you know, salivating all over and, you know, sometimes vomiting mm. and with that, all various uh, diseases and uh, ailments. And nobody's watching this. Nobody's commenting this as a form of violence. So if the government is violating the rights of women, who is this man not to violate also, I mean, to, to even fight them? Even when they are, they are, they are, they are, they are, they are carrying their babies mm. in their bellies, 
you still find there are some men who defy to those women. They, they don't know whether they are carrying presidents or the vice presidents or, or ministers or pastors. They don't know. They don't want to know. Therefore, it is a big disadvantage, especially on the side of a man, who would fight this woman and then in the evening he still wants him in bed. And he wants her to perform. Even before Remember? you go to bed, you still expect to eat food eat that this food. same woman has cooked. You eat food. She prepares your bath water. You want water. You want toil. You want your clothes you to be arranged. Yes. And in the morning, you want to walk out of that house. Looking neat and, and good. good. Yeah. If this one happens over years, this man, even if this woman will remain in it, mm -hmm. he will suffer. Because he's the man that will be taking this woman to the hospital. When everything has gone AY. Okay. The end has gone off. This lady has become, you know, she's become mad. She cannot be able to concentrate. She has, a, I mean, stress, she has brown pleasure, she has brown sugar. Mm. It is the same man that will give out money that is supposed to learn other, other issues, to be put into other, other factors in the family. And this man, money is taken to, I mean, out for health. You pay for health, the health of this woman. She has been quite all the years. But you see, over time, whatever that has been cooking, it will be ma manifested in form of maybe sickness. Yeah, but isn't it dangerous yeah. when a woman is actually a victim of violence and she's just silent? It is very, very dangerous. And we really advise, like, you know, as equal as a counselor, I've, I've interacted with many, mm -hmm. even women. Yeah. But you look at this lady and you sympathize with her. She's been quiet for the years. Believe you me, there are women who are quiet even when they are battered, when they are denied conjugal rights. And so it is, it is by right every woman should enjoy the yeah, conjugal rights. Yeah, women have needs as well. If this man does not supply or fulfill those needs, it is a basic necessity. <laughs> if the basic necessity is not provided, this woman should walk in any court and sue this man. Are you serious? Yes. You shouldn't do that. Why should you not do it? He is denying you your, your, your basic necessity. <laughs> That's why you got married. You, you, you are not just a stone or a, or, or, or a wood. No. You went there in this marriage to enjoy. So this lady is not enjoying the conjugal rights. This lady is not enjoying the interaction, mm -hmm. the communication. Mm -hmm. She is there, she is quiet, she will not go to Chama, she will not be seen bickering around. You know that backbiting and bickering is helpful <laughs> to women. In what way? When you walk out and you tell them that you know my wife I mean, my husband has always been beating me up. You know that sympathy, they, they, as they sympathize with you and they, some of them start crying. Mm. They sob as they hear, as you narrate what, I mean, they hear what you are narrating. Even you can see these marks, all these marks, mm. they, are, they, are, they, are, I, I, they were inflicted on me by my husband. You can see all these cars and this mark on this side. And you see women crying. And the, the you know, the... They sympathize with their own. That one itself is healing. But any woman who is battered is like a man who is battered. Okay. That if you just keep quiet, one day we will see it manifesting through any means. She can also decide to cook her children in a pot. Uh -uh. Or even throw them in water, yes. Remember the many cases, as you call, even the one that was there recently at, in, uh, in Mango. Okay. Where this lady went with her children and she's saying, we are going to pray. And it was, I think, the wee hours of the night. 
And then she goes with her three, her three children, I think the three children, and just at the branch, this, this turned at the branch, and one by one, she started throwing she threw them. them. Yeah, in water. It was only one child that was saved who was not in that house that day. And she also threw herself into the water. Why? Because all these things that we are talking here, they are affecting many, many, many people in Kenya and in other parts of the world. You hear it in America, you hear it all over. Because we are not able to speak out. Therefore, uh, I would advise that uh, just in case one is in a, an abusive marriage, mm. and you find that uh, your husband or your man does not want you to have friends around, try as much as possible to know the person that you can talk to, whether through the phone or physically, that you appear to somebody and tell him, this is what is happening. So that even if you die, you have a testimony. Yeah. You write something, you, you say something, that this person who is here, that we are burning today, has died because of one, two, three. Mm. He will be a witness, or she will be a witness. So we would encourage those chamas, of course not to go to talk about your husbands, even when they are good. <laughs> if you want, Maybe you can give some appraisals, you know, you applause your man, you know, give him all the praises that my man bought me this car that you can see out there, my man takes me to salon, my man, my man. And that is the kind of a scenario you'd want to see. That's a kind of a situation that... A healthy want. talk. Very healthy, yes, very healthy talk. But we, if need be that there is something unhealthy, pour <laughs> it. Pour it out. Not necessarily to everybody you can get one or two women mm. that you can go and sit with and you then they'll cry with you and the mature ones and those who have who are ma more motherly uh, they can help you even spiritually pray with you and take your burden upon themselves they'll be calling you those are the people that uh, one should uh, at least try to communicate so much with to avoid all these deaths that mm -hmm. are happening, yes. at what point do you advise women who are victims of domestic violence to seek help from FIDA and any other organizations? Yes, yes. Well, when every woman realizes that things are not ending up, the marriage is not working, however much she tries, if she has tried all options, she has talked to the parents, or rather the, maybe the closest friends who might be the inner, or rather the, the, the best couple. Mm. She has talked to relatives. She's gone to the counselor. Then the best thing is to seek for legal advice through the feeder or even through the court of law. And one should not shy off from doing that. Because I see quite believe in normalcy. If you find that things are not normal, why should you allow another person to kill you, whether a man or a woman? Go and create and you as your individual, yeah. as an individual with your own potentials. You are not created so that somebody can kill you. It is, should be God himself who should take away your life. Who should dictate when this when happens. yeah it should yes. happen should happen but you see now men there are men who have dictated when their women can die these are men who would come and show them the guns mm. these are men who would put a machete here and then he sleeps look at such a woman because that one happens he puts a machete there and the woman knows that this one is to silence me like where men have maybe other affairs out there mm. and they know their women know so instead of him hearing you talk about it and you, you try talking bad about his other affairs, you put a machete here next to him. So he is there snoring. You can't dare, believe me, you can't dare. How? How do you dare and you know the machete is here? You know, if this man decides to carry you, you just carry you, you slaughter you like a goat. That's true. Therefore. The best thing is to seek for legal advice. You seek for, I mean, go to court, go to the lawyer, talk to him about it, 
seek for divorce. Separate yourself. But of course, one has also to be careful when separation happens. Okay. Because again, even as we talk of seeking the legal, mm -hmm. for legal advice, mm -hmm. you need to know from which point will you be coming. From mm -hmm. which home. Yeah. Because we should not again in this program try to to, to give out information that can be also dangerous to people. Because, you know, sometimes a lady may decide to take the man to the court of law through the, the lawyer or through FINDA. Mm -hmm. Every other woman should know her man. How does he behave? Does he go wild? So that if this man goes wild, you cannot accuse him while you are still in, the, in his house. Oh. You have to separate, my friend. Yes. You keep aside. Keep you, a distance. Yes. And it is a distance, that, a secure distance, where you know you are well guarded, well secured. So that this man will not come like we hear. See you here, they, they have messaged you where, mm. and he has killed her, he has killed everybody, he has even known where she lives, and he enters into that place. It is a situation, if it is that bad, where you need even to involve the security. That they say this man should not be seen within the vicinity, because he is known he is by rent, you see? Mm. And it is, it, it is the work of the government to guard. It is the work of the government to secure your life or rather to keep vengeance. They, they, they need to protect you. So when this woman decides that enough is enough, she needs to know where she's going. If she's going to her father's home mm. or to her parent, or she's going to live on her own. Or to her friends, Or perhaps. even to a, a friend. Mm. She always ought to be very careful to watch out because by the time this man hears that she is out, she should have put enough protection. If she doesn't do that, anything can happen. And she will live in fear all the time. That if they meet, anything can happen. We are even men who would meet with their women. If they were driving, you would want the, the cars to crash. Hmm, okay. Yeah, let, us, let all of us die. <laughs> you can't live and uh, I live. You can't put me into such a, such a situation, awkward situation or a ridicule. You can't put me into shame. Mm. So he wants the vehicles to collide. Sometimes there are men who would see their women and he was driving and he ran off on, on, on her. Hmm? A car. So if this window will always be on run, she will always be on watch out. Mm. Because there is one step that she has not taken. If you know this man is merciless, he is a brute, know that as you walk out, you need to also have something. Security. Yeah, you, you talk about security. So before these women think of the separation, separation first yeah. they think of security, yes. separation, separation, and then that is when you can report through your lawyer yes. or feeder. Yes, okay. because of course after that, you know the man will be given He'll be called. Summons. Yeah, he'll be called for the summons. He'll be summoned. Yeah. So if when he is summoned, he is told your wife or the ex-wife mm. or whoever, you separate for a number of years or months before maybe divorce is uh, given out. So before that one happens, the wife, the mother should take care of herself and her babies if she has carried the babies with her. Mm. And I would advise every woman that may feel that enough is enough, she mm. cannot carry it no longer. For heaven's sake, go with your babies. Of if course. If they are under 18. Yes. No, there are those who live, their babies, <laughs> with their men. Mm. And they slaughter them. Some others misuse even their girls. You hear even men who sleep with their, with their own daughters. Or give out their daughters for or prostitution. Even, yeah, yeah. Yes. They just, or they, they don't even care. Anybody who comes, they leave them under the masses of the house boys. And nannies. You see? So when these these children are there, th this man does not come early, he doesn't even care. You find that uh, these uh, children may be uh, misused. 
abused sexually mm. by, by whoever is taking care of them. So for heaven's sake, however difficult it is, because I know it is a form of sacrifice, it's important for every woman to go with that baby. With their children. Talk yes. about, you know, the support that they should be given while you are with them. Mm. Not the support when they are with the They're father. still with the father. Until they are 18 years and above. Okay. Yeah, that, 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 that should, should be taken into consideration. Okay. And again, like I've said, there should be, you know, you also need to watch out. Don't be going to bars and other places at night where you know this man can come. You can be guarded in the estate. <laughs> you can be guarded during the day when you're in the public vehicle mm. and you go to your place of work and you enter there in town, no, no problem. But you cannot be guarded when you decide to walk out, you, you are taking beer and you are fun, you go dancing, bashes every time. You are also forsaking the responsibility of your children. Yes. Because remember, as you walk out, you're walking out as a mother and you're walking out to safeguard yourself and the, the lives of, the, of your children. But you see now, this is another picture. I mean, what kind of a picture do you want to portray to the children? When they have no mother, I mean, the mother is, uh, comes at the wee hours of the night. What is the difference between you and the father who used to come at the, the, the same time? So these children will remain like orphans. They have no mothers, good mothers, they have no mentors. This mother comes home late, anybody can escort her. You give yourself a, a, a chance for people to blame you, to lay all the blames on you. Because they will start saying, after all, that is why she was kicked out of the marriage. Of her home, yes. They will, they will start even, not that you, are, you kicked yourself out, <laughs> but your husband kicked you out because of prostituting. So all these things at least should be taken into account. Okay. Yeah. Some men like to say that their women literally push them to the wall, provoke them so much, and that mm -hmm. is why they actually hit them. Yeah. Is that reason enough to hit a woman? Well, well, there are least to them, yes. There are some, yes. Okay. And to them, no. To there are those, you know, who would be pushed to the wall and they will not fight. Before we even go into depth, what is this pushing <coughs> to the wall? Well, it's about the naggingness. Mm. How you nag him. Sometimes, y you know, you, you insult him. Mm. That You insult him. You nag him. You come late. Sometimes <laughs> you come home late. Uh, sometimes, I mean, you don't cook for him. <laughs> you, you don't attend to his uh, issues. Sometimes you also say no to, to the conjugal rights. And when he wants you, you don't, you don't give him. <laughs> so other times you backbite about him. He yeah. hears that you're backbiting him with your, with your relatives. Mm. Men really hate that. Where you backbite him with your relatives, that you, you, you conform. Or rather you sit down and you, you start talking against him in the presence of your mother and your father and other relatives. That's why you, you find some of them even not... Uh, willing to allow the relatives to to visit to their visit home, or yes. even to visit and stay, mm. because they don't want those bickering. Mm. He doesn't want to be known as a a weak man. He wants to be viewed as very strong all the time, and he wants to be respected yeah. as well. He would rather be known uh, of his weaknesses by his own relatives than by the relatives of the woman of the wife. Yeah. So, <laughs> so th that the pushing of, of of this man on the wall is about the behavior, mm. that there is a behavior that you can show this man that may at least um, incite him or provoke him, provocative behaviors, mm. where you, you, you feel, I mean, he feels like, he, I think this is not like my home. This really doesn't know that this is me and I am the, the breadwinner or if not blend winner, I am the hand of the family and she is always against me. Those are provocative ways of, uh, you know, letting or making some men to fight to women. Fight woman. And they fight them mercilessly, okay. some of them. They feel so bad, I mean, you know, he can fight you, bang on, on walls and 
throw you on the on the floor and mm. you know kick you you know hit you with this anything sticks and so are you trying to say that some men are actually not batterers but this provoking <laughs> yes them batterers yes there are those who, who, who are being provoked into fighting okay and actually as you call, we, we tell women to sober up even in the way they talk you know be calm you, you know you cannot talk like a man the man's voice is deep with authority but when this man hears um, another woman, you know, the wife is becoming authoritative on him, not on children, on him. And then you are always hand on him. Mm. Sometimes it doesn't go well. However, we are not saying that though man is being provoked by the woman, that he should fight, he should fight that woman. Not in today's society. If that one happens, there are other ways and means of telling her that I am also offended mm. as a man. Enough is enough. Enough is enough. Instead of fighting all the time, use the same machinery, the same channel, the same process, so that instead of so that at least she can walk back to her home or to wherever to her own house when she is okay. Mm. Why should I fight this woman and remove her teeth? Maybe um, inflict cuts all over. Why should I do that? If we were not compatible, there is a way, as he called, of saying that because I've involved this, I've used this channel, it's not well. It's not okay. Let us part ways. Mm, that's true. Yeah, it is cowardice to fight a woman. Okay. Yeah. Thank you so much, Reverend. Mm -hmm. I have learned so much, and I'm sure my viewers have as well. Mm -hmm. Viewers, that was it for today. So much information on domestic violence. Hope you'll take some keen notes. Any questions, comments, and suggestions, hit us up on our official Facebook page, which is Aviation TV Kenya. Our Twitter handle is at Aviation TV Kenya. My Twitter handle is at Leona Asiko Obura, and my Facebook page as well is Leona Asiko Obura. I was your host, Leona Asiko Obura. It was nice having you. Let's see you next week, same place, same time. My name is Helen. I'm from here in Nairobi, and I think uh, about violence, people should sit down, talk, come up with a solution, and see if they are going to. To, to fix their problems instead of beating each other. My name is Joel and my take on domestic violence, especially on men battering women, I say it's just wrong because men are supposed to actually protect these women, not cause them harm or in any way hurt them. I'm Nathaniel uh, and my take on domestic violence is it's not fair, we are all equal, so women should be treated the same way as men are treated. My name is uh, Joseph Simpito. Yeah. Actually, what I would say for, for the way we would like to treat our wives in our homes, actually we have to treat them equal to us. The way we feel we can be treated as well. We don't have to be harsh on them. If we be harsh on them, then we are not good leaders. For us to be good leaders, we have to treat our fellow human beings actually to the way we want to treat ourselves. My name is Ibrahim. I'm a researcher. Uh, my take on, on uh, domestic violence, as I personally attribute it to a cultural aspect. So it happens in African settings because uh, we believe our wives should be our, our, our workers, should be in the kitchen, doing all those, all those fun things.